Hello guys, today we are going through the update method of using ROOP extension in Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11. In the previous as we video we have talking about face swap using ROOP in Stable Diffusion with Google Colab, but then the AI model for ROOP have been stop listing on hugging face, therefore it caused the newer installation not work. So we're going to use realistic version 5.1 model for the checkpoint model in this demo. And in this demo, we're also going to use the ROOP extension and generate consistent faces with different poses and dresses. Let's get started. First install the extension, as I'm doing here. The extension is called ROOP. Search it in the extension tab and install it after installation. Check for updates and restart your web UI. So with this method, you can create character with the face you want. That is a faster with to do without creating a LoRa model. All you need is one photo of a face and write prompts to create AI images, as some subscribers asked about this before. And yes, you can do that without create a LoRa. Okay, another thing keep in mind before restarting the web UI, that after ROOP installation, do put the model which will be used in the ROOP extension, like we use control, net, models, scanny depth, etc. I have provided the link for the model in this video description, Okay, now next step, let's restart the web UI again after all the setup. For the local PC installation, you can just copy and paste the model folder. Put the model file into web UI models folder and inside root subfolder. So there you go. Your web UI is loaded with the extension installed. And as you scroll down a little, you will see the extension tab below. Okay, so in the first run, I'm going to do a random test without using the extension. Let's see what we can get from a random run. Definitely you will get some random faces, so get all the settings done. Write some prompts, negative prompts, set your desired settings, and after that, hit Generate. Okay, so there you have some images. Maybe it's looking like some Asian faces, or maybe European. Okay, now I'm going to use the extension. So I am writing the prompt here again and getting done the settings. After that, go to the extension tab, and here I will drag and drop an image. And there you go. Do enable the extension and take a look at the end of the extension tab. The model is automatically called for the extension. Do increase the batch count and generate after settings. Okay, so there you go. Wonderful. And detailed results are waiting for you. Take a look at the sharpness and the face swapping of this extension. Perfectly embedding the face with different styles of images. That's it for today's tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Next.